Utah. So what were you saying? I was saying that uh, when I grew up in L.A., about a mile from Dodger Stadium, the two closest libraries were the Grand Central Library downtown L.A., about five miles away, and then the library in Glendale, which is about five miles away. So never did experience having a local library like we have here in Carpinteria that's uh, so accessible to everybody in town. And uh, as far as my experience with libraries, uh, most of them were the school libraries. When I went to school, I'd go to the school library and check out a book, and that was my interaction with libraries. Thank you. You're welcome. Tell me, uh, what do you like about the library? We love story time on Thursdays. It's her favorite day of the week to go to story time with all her friends. Thank you. Uh, I think he's gonna. You, you can be eating your ice cream too. Yeah. Okay. So tell me, what do you like about the library? <laughs> um. So I used to go to the library with my babysitter when I was really young. Yeah. And she used to take me to the puppet shows. And I really like it because I never really get to do it anymore. Because you're in yeah. school, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, so you say so you like you like the library. Yeah. Yeah. How about the summer reading program? Can you say the summer reading program was good or something like that? Summer reading program is pretty good. It's pretty fun. Especially when you get the free um right. Yeah. <laughs> and do you have anything you'd like to say? So, we love the summer reading program. I love the summer reading program. You get some reading. <laughs> Would you like to tell me what you like about the library? Sure. Tell me, what do you like about the library? I like that the library inspires my children to read. Really? That's cool. Yeah. Um, and uh, let me just check something here. Testing, 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 testing. And uh, do you have any memories from the library? Oh gosh. My mom used to take me to the library all the time as a kid. We would go and hang out and spend time there and check out books. And So I think it inspired a love of books and reading in myself. Nice. Yeah. Thank you. And your name Welcome. is? Casey Grit. Okay, thank you, Casey. You're welcome. And your names are? Sean and Lisa Monahan. Books that you get at the time of your life, in your life, like my sister, sent me a book called The Relatives Are Coming to Visit. And it was before I had my daughter, and it was a children's book. And they were just saying that they were coming to visit. And then I found that book after I had my daughter. And I'm like, I remember that exact time because of that book. I remember that visit. And then I gave it to my daughter, and she will look at it years later and remember when I gave it to her. Nice. And your name is? Susie. Thank you, Susie. You're it's welcome. Good library stuff. Yeah. Very cinematic. Hey, Selvin, how you doing? Good. How are you, Larry? How do you like marriage? I like it. <laughs> Some people ask me, anything, uh, Selvin, uh, any library memories? Oh, wow. I grew up on a farm about 10 miles out of town, and we used to go into the Marysville Library, and we could get books, and we could get any book we wanted, and uh, that was uh, the great source for me of my, my uh, reading, and I loved it. And what do you do now? What do I know? Now I write books. <laughs> and I, in fact, I looked around and trying to find my books in the library. But uh, every, yeah, it's funny. Now when I go to a library, the first thing I do is go to the E's and see, see if they have my books. <laughs> That's good. And I think I have seen your books here. Yeah. Um, and what's the value to the average person of books? Oh, my goodness. Well, um, Emily Dickinson says, there is no frigate like a book to take us lands away. And um, it's a great source of, well, first of all, it's a great source of imagination, but also uh, inf information. And it's an easy way to travel. Inexpensive. Inexpensive. 
you, but you, do you still get to uh, feel the emotions and all? Well, yeah, because you, uh, it's, uh, well, you know, it's funny. It's synthetic um, emotion. It's not the real thing, but it's so accessible and there's so much of it that you can really, if you read Gone the Wind, you can really get a feeling about people and about the time and all kinds of things. Um, and there would be no way to travel to do that. Um, but I think, yeah, probably the combination of knowing people in reality and reading is a great, uh, both enrich, one enriches the other and vice versa. Interesting, nice. Oh, cool. I have a common mask that has red. Oh my god, Oh, I'm so close. We're almost done. It's going to dry in a couple oh, seconds. Actually, three. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to pass a real comment. Mommy, stick too. You will go to the stores. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a scare Let's go to the store. everybody. Does he have mascara on? Let's go to the store, Jimmy. Yeah. Let's go to the store. Oh, Mama, get that out. That clown face. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nope. Let's go to the store and you're going to freak out everybody. Look at you mascara. Friends. Friends of the Library. It's a it's a dynamic board. We are so lucky to have this kind of support. The library would certainly not exist and would not have its prominence in the community if it weren't for the support of all of the friends um, and the board members over the years who have taken on the cause, championed the library, the value of reading, the value of having this kind of community resource here in Carpinteria. And they love it, and the library loves the friends, so come and buy some books. Do you? I do. I do buy books, of course. Well, the other day I bought one on Amazon, and you said, why don't you just go to the friends and get it? And I said, oh, the friends aren't going to have it. And then I, I bought it on Amazon, and later that afternoon I happened by the friends bookstore, and there it was. He was hoping to prove me wrong. <laughs> I had it. Um, wait, is it just like what I like about the did library? You, yeah, you did that. Yeah, what do you like about it? Do you ever go to the library? Yeah. What do you like about it? Um, I like that the library is like a very nice and quiet place and um, I can always like find the books that I want or like I can always request them as well. Okay, is good? Ah, me gusta venir a la biblioteca porque tiene muchos programas interesantes de los cuales puedo traer a mis hijas para que disfruten de ellos y aprendan a la vez. Thank you. Yeah, we let them throw. <laughs> so, Leslie, what do you like? Uh, actually, the, would you mind standing over there? My books? Buy a lot of books? Better. Yeah, a lot of books. This is a good book, see this. That's a great book. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like about this place? Oh my god, there's so much to love about the, the library or the bookstore? Both. Well, I love the bookstore and I go to the farm cart every week and so I kind of like a little jog over here. <laughs> yeah, it's very tempting and I come and look for books and I usually end up picking up a couple of books. And then every time my mom comes to visit from Los Angeles, this is number one on her list. She reads like a book a day. She eats books. So uh, I've, gotten her, I've gotten her gift certificates from here. And everybody's so nice. And there's great deals. And what's not to like about it? It's a bookstore. <laughs> How much are the books? Uh, they range in price. I usually the books I pick up are usually around two bucks, but then there's a real special section over there where they're, you know, fifteen or twenty dollars. So I tend to look over there, but don't always um, go for the big bucks. Those must be really special books. Yeah, I, you know, I'd like to know if they research them or, or how they figure out the prices on those, because I always think maybe there's a little buried treasure in there. And any thoughts about the value of books? Well, I think holding a book and reading a book is much more preferable because we're on computers all the time. I don't read on a Kindle. I like turning the pages of a book. I like the, the touch, the feel of a book. And um, I love children's books. Um, I'm a fairy godmother, so these are a very important tool in my trade. I have my magic wand that I always carry around with me. I'll show you. Let me get it out here. Give me a second. No hurry. 
Okay, so I always keep my magic wand with me, and this is very good for calming down hyperactive three-year-olds or children that are noisy at concerts. And then I always have plenty of children's books at my house because you never know who's going to come over. Oh, very <laughs> nice. Okay. And you are? I'm Leslie Westbrook, and I'm a proud uh, citizen of Carpinteria. <laughs> I once went to the library when I was really young and my babysitter which I really miss her. I never get to use, get with her ever again. Not yet. Um, she used to take me to the puppet shows at the library. Yeah. Okay, tell me a memory about the library. Okay, my memory is I'm always looking for love stories. And I don't always find them, so I have to ask the librarian to help me. Which ones have you found? Which ones have I found? Oh gosh, I don't, I, I'm not, I'm sorry, I don't remember. You, you found quite a few that you've enjoyed. Yeah, right, nice ones. You're not in the shop, by the way. No, I, you can sit down. What? You, you want to sit no, down? No, I don't want to sit down. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's moving. Oh, I've got dropped in behind your chair. What do you like about libraries? What do I like about the library? I like it because everybody, including your wife, have been so friendly and helpful. I, I appreciate help because I'm not that familiar with the different authors. I really am not. And sometimes when I get an author I like, I'll read everything. You know that they wrote and then someone will say well what who was the author and I'll say gee I don't know but she's up there on that third nice That's well good terrible. I'm the same way I like to uh, try different things and have people recommend stuff and then if I find an author I like to read all their work too. right one right. author I found I read all her work is Daphne du Maurier have you okay. read any of her stuff yes, Rebecca I, and some I know others. who that is yeah. yeah anyway any other thoughts about the library um, not really they're just they're very helpful and I appreciate that because sometimes when I go right now I'm looking for a um, I've written a, a short love poem hmm. so I'm looking for a magazine that would feature it because I don't go to the, the beauty salon because I don't have any hair this is a wig oh, okay, nice <laughs> so uh, uh, I'm nice to admit it yeah it doesn't matter it's uh, I worried it off my head to tell you the truth we were investigated by the IRS and you know you never know if you're above board or not really yeah and by the time I got through I didn't have any hair left and we were above board oh shoot yeah did you sue them then? I had stronger words I think my words were oh shit <laughs> nice <laughs> anyway that's all I can tell you okay well good interview thank you and your name is Nancy O'Connor nice to see you Nancy nice to meet you again Thanks. Yeah. So, who are you? My name's Gretchen Murray. What's your connection with the library? Well, I was actually president of the Friends of the Library back in about 1982. And um, I volunteered, and I lived here in town and um, enjoyed the library. And so I joined the Friends. What did you like about the library then? Oh, everything. I love libraries, period. They do a great job. Um, I don't think that the um, politicians necessarily appreciate as much that goes on here as, as does. So, I work on that part. Are you still in town? I live in Santa Barbara. And are you part of this Friends of the Library? Still? Absolutely. I'm still a member. I'm a lifetime member, actually. <laughs> and while I was president, the picture that is, the drawing that is used on all of the envelopes and the letterhead, um, um, I commissioned the fellow who did the drawing, and we paid him, so it belongs to the Friends of the Library. Yeah, it dates that that far. Where did you meet back in the day? Um, we met here in the library, and we'd meet after hours. In what years? I believe it was 82, 83. Um, Betty and uh, Norman Zattel were on the board, and I don't remember the rest. But What were some of the issues then? 
Um, that was back when they were going to remodel the library and they were talking about how much more room and um, actually back when the theater, they were talking about putting the theater in as a multi-purpose room. They were just looking for room to expand the, the floor space. Um, there were, were there other issues then that you recall? That was the big one. I mean, it, there was not enough money. There was never enough money. <laughs> what do you think about the current building and the front of the library? I love the bookstore. I think it's doing great. The building, I think, gets used hard. And I know that the um, library system doesn't have an awful lot of money for maintenance. Well, thank you. Thank you. So I'm asking people what they like about the library. Would you like to say what you like about the library? The books. Good answer. Good answer. And, and you can add anything to that. What do you like about the library? Oh, I like the fact that I see all my friends in there when I go to the library. Me too. <laughs> That's great. Would you like to say what you like about the library? Who, who's this in your lap? A dog. Um, um, it's a dog, but it's not hers. It's, it's hers. Well, it's not mine either. Um, well, um, she's just at me. What do you like about the library? Oh, I I like the books. I like them a lot. Have you dated any? <laughs> yeah, I have. <laughs> That's funny. Anything else you'd like to add about the library? Or the French bookstore? Oh my gosh, you can get kids. Did you know you can get kids books for like 50 cents an inch? Where? Here, at the, at the front of the library. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, because kids' books are thin, so... Nice, okay, good to know. Yeah. What's your name? Priscilla Pierce Whitaker. What was it like back on the board and when were you on it? It wasn't quite as big as this. There was all kinds of little, we were in different locations. One was on Linden behind the, the real estate office. Huh. For yeah. a long time, but this. What, what year that went around? What I don't remember these. I don't remember. 80s, 90s. Yeah, no, 70s. 70s. In the 70s. Okay. And uh, do you remember what any of the issues were that you guys were dealing with? No, just, just getting enough books and raising money to support our library. And then here we moved here when the city allowed a lower rent, or no rent, and this is incredible. This spot right here is the Mastian Carpinteria. <laughs> what is it? This spot, the library, read the library, food cart is the best spot in Carpinteria. <laughs> it is indeed. And were you on the board too? Actually, not a board member, but one of the original members of the Friends. We oh, started, no. okay, that's started good. the Friends. And what's your name? Elizabeth Riz Risden. You're Risden, nice. I was a Betty Benson. That's when there were two Betty Bensons, really? and the other one was the, on the board, but I wasn't a board member. <laughs> Interesting. Um, and uh, why did you, what do you like about books or libraries? Oh, everything. Everything. I tell you, it's the best little free thing in town, isn't it? I mean, I love every single thing about it, and this is fantastic, this friend's facility, because you just keep learning, keep growing, keep being entertained, and wonderful.
Appreciate but I like, I work here now just at the Friends of the Library with Linda Zerman. And the people that come here from out of town, out of county, are all here buying books galore. Yeah, the, all the visitors to town. They yeah, love it. And it's so much fun to work here. <laughs> okay, thanks ladies. Thank Good God. interview. I think it's going to go viral probably. <laughs> You did my friend's uh, PhD dissertation. Which my friend is that? Rain. Rain, oh, she's a friend of yours, she's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah I never, where did that go? To her? The, uh, I, the, it went to her, and I'm not sure how she's using it. Because I never saw it, but I, it was so, wasn't she something? Very serious, yeah. And she's a wonderful person. Isn't she? Thank you so much. Thank you. Tell me, what do you like about the Friends of the Library? Everything. I like the staff. I love the books. The, the prices you can't beat. Uh, anything you want, if they don't have it, they'll call you if it comes in. You can't beat that. And when books are costing $27 to $32 a piece and I can get whatever I want for $2, can't beat it. <laughs> Good interview. Thank you. Do you like going to the library? Oh, sure you, okay. Do you go okay. to the library at all? Um, sometimes. What do you like about it? I like the books and the events that they have. And Andrew, what do you like? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Okay. okay well, thanks, guys. Thank you. Uh, I like the education standpoint of library and uh, the openness and ability to walk in and, and uh, capture ideas and, and the creative aspect of, of libraries. <laughs> uh, what do you think? What, Gabby's library stories. <laughs> That's what Gabby wanted me to ask. Oh, Any library stories? <laughs> Any memories of things of 22 years of running the Carpinteria Branch Library? Um, some of it's a blur, but mostly it's uh, it's knowing Carpinteria, knowing the people of Carpinteria, um, and that's it's uh, almost impossible to to put it into one or two stories. Um, I did not come prepared to uh, <laughs> to talk library. What's so good about books? Um, uh, reading is fun. I like reading. Books about birds and nature and stuff like that. Thanks a lot. Good interview. Appreciate seeing it. Uh, so tell me, uh, what do you like about books or the library? Well, I love the library because it's so easy to just come and get a book. And since I live here in town, I can just ride my bike down here and get a book whenever I feel like it. And that's pretty great. And I love the bookstore too because I just bought a book about how to make cupcakes and that's pretty great. <laughs> so, I guess. That's what I like about the library. <laughs> I'm Fiona Kasbaro and I'm 13 years old. <laughs> I live in Carpinteria. And let me get on this side of the library line. Uh, so what's your name? How old are you? Um, I'm Olivia Gobel and I'm 12 years old. Tell me what do you like about books or the library? Um, I like the library because you can go there and kind of find like whatever book that you like. And then you can also, there are computers there, so you can like research all the topics if you're researching something, so yeah. Well, what type of books have you gotten in the past? Um, mostly fiction, but if I am looking for a certain project or essay, then I will get like something for that topic. So you look for books and not just all online? Yeah, I'm, yeah. Thank you. Are there any particular books you've gotten? Uh, um, well, my favorite book series here is definitely The Land of Elan, and that was amazing. And I've read all the books so far, and I think that's pretty much what I like to stick to. Mostly fiction, too. So. Thank you. Uh, what do you like about books? Escape. I like reading because I can escape. So, uh, yeah. And, uh, and that works for me. So. Me too. Okay, good. So tell me, what's your favorite book? I cut off my thumb back in 1979. See the first book? Whatever it is. Giant. 
Yeah. 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 What's your favorite book? Albert. Well, the chipmunks put it all together. Okay, thanks, guys. Do you have any memories from past library experiences? Or? I brought my granddaughter here for the uh, story hour, and this is a great little library. They have a lot of things, very helpful people. So I like the library. Well, first, yeah. first time I've been here uh, with the used books, so I would come back because we love to read books. Nice. Uh, for those that haven't been to Storytime, describe what it's like. So there's a usually one person that tells the story, reads from a book, and, and just really uh, puts a lot of emphasis on books for little kids. They all sit around and, and they really love, love it, you know, so it encourages reading. And it's a nice thing for a grandparent to do with their grandchild? It is, yes. Lots of grandparents there with their grandkids. That's cool. <laughs> And anything you care to share? Uh, Not right now, thank okay. you. Um, anything else you want to say? Okay. okay. <laughs> but also, tell about the librarians, because you knew when you were a little girl here. Who were the librarians? The librarians were Mrs. Moyer and Mrs. Risden. And I would come to the library as a kid. I loved the library. I'd get lost in the stacks, and I still do. <laughs> I love libraries. And I was just telling these two beautiful women that when I go travel, Traveling, the first thing I do when I'm in a town is I find the library and, and huddle up. So, and I love, this is a jewel in this town. It is a, an absolute jewel. And I'm so happy to live in Carpinteria because we have this library and we have the friends in the library. So, well, what hey, was she's great, good. Yeah, what was Grace Lawyer like? <laughs> oh, Grace was so dear, so lovely, so welcoming and opening. Both Grace and Lily Risden were just, there they were behind the desk, calm, quiet, lovely, encouraging, sweet. Tara too. And Tara too, yes, Tara. Tara, what is it about librarians? We love librarians. Well, well chosen, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We've been blessed. We've been blessed. Yes, we have, and I'm sad that Tara has left, but I'm happy for her and you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> but um, now, were you around for the fire? In the nineties. Yeah, I remember that the crazy woman fire. Yeah, yeah that's. I just uh, was sad. Yeah. But it was an excuse afterwards to restock and rebuild. It sounds like it. Yeah. 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 And uh, expand. Yeah. Right. Right. So it's funny how these things happen. You never know. Anyway. Well, uh, thank you for your thoughts. Okay. And your name is Heidi Robbins. Heidi Benson Robbins. Yeah. Well, um, who are the Bensons? Um, my, Who are the Robins? Well, the Robins is uh, my husband Ross and my children Camille and Adrian Robins. And uh, my dad is Don Benson and he's married to Vera Benson. And my mother is now Elizabeth Risden. So that's how that goes. Yeah, and I grew up on Foothill Road. <laughs> <laughs> and, Don't the, take and the Carneys married the Lazaros. Right, no, that is right. Story. Right, yeah. but it wasn't. Oh, no, no, this is no, no. This is a problem. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Uh, your name is? Wilma Biden Rich. What type of books do you like? Oh, I just enjoy history books about, about real life people. And of course I like, I wish I had more time to go through children's books because we have so many lovely children's books. And, and all the magazines they have. It's a very, very interesting and wonderful library. Thank you. Sherry, what, what do you like about books or reading or libraries? What I love about books is it opens other worlds and it's an opportunity to put down the story that you're living and pick up another story. Um, and I really appreciate that. Um, it can help understand the use, universality of humanity and so it can mirror something um, for myself, when I see a character going through something, reading about it, or I learn also um, about people's lives, and um, and that's just fiction. And then there's all the nonfiction that that opens worlds as well. Okay, um, it's it's warmed up. I'll turn it on now. Okay, <laughs> I know, right? I was like, talk about disjointed. <laughs> no.